bet you'd love your DVR to hold more stuff, wouldn't you? But most of us don't want to go buy a new DVR just to get more capacity, especially if you've got one of those lifetime service deals that isn't transferable to a new unit. I'm Brian Cooley. Let me show you how to upgrade the hard drive in your existing DVR for massive capacity at a modest cost. We're going to upgrade a very common TiVo Series 2, but the process is quite similar for a wide range of models. The shopping list. First of all, a garden variety ATA or IDE 3.5 inch hard drive. The one we've got here is 320 delicious gigabytes. You'll also need a common PC with two IDE drive connectors and a CD-ROM drive. And I'd also recommend Instant Cake software specific to your exact model of DVR. Now, Instant Cake is what formats or images your new hard drive so TiVo can recognize it. Also, I've elected to say goodbye to all the stuff on my existing TiVo drive. You could also opt to add a drive as opposed to replacing your drive. First, we download the Instant Cake ISO, or image file, that is exactly specific to our model of DVR. That's important. Then we burn it to a CD as an image, not just dragging it over as a file. That's also important. And you'll find that image or ISO burning is a choice on your CD burning software like we're doing right here. Now we go into our PC and make the CD-ROM the boot drive. That may involve different things on your computer including possibly moving a jumper like this on the back over to the master selection. Also, you'll probably have to go into the BIOS of your computer and tell it boot off the CD-ROM drive first and foremost. Now, also, I want to make sure you disconnect your C drive at this point, your computer's main hard drive, so nothing on there can get screwed up by the process we're about to do. Okay, now take the brand new hard drive destined for your TiVo and connect that to the other IDE connector, the secondary connector, here on the computer. I've got my Instant Cake ISO disk in my booting CD-ROM, and now we fire this thing up as an imaging machine. Now, the progress may happen in fits and starts with some long pauses. Don't freak. That seems to be just part of how this works. And then just sit back and wait for this line. It's going to come up right down here. There we go. That's our payoff. That should make your short hair stand on end. That's a lot of capacity. Okay, our new TiVo drive is imaged and ready to go into our TiVo. So it's time for some surgery. Let's unplug the TiVo and remove the lid. By the way, to get those screws off, you may need what's called a Torx driver, which is this kind of star-shaped, unusual bit. Okay, there's your TiVo hard drive. Now we're going to take that out very carefully. So first of all, I'm going to remove the power connector, and then I'll remove the data ribbon connector right here. Now with our Torx driver, I take out the actual hard drive carrier that the drive's fastened to. Okay, now I lift out the drive, still attached to its carrier here, and I have to remove four more Torx fasteners to get the drive off the carrier, and then we put our new drive right back in. Note the orientation as you do this, so you get everything back exactly in the same direction. And in my case, it's just like this, and I just put the screws back in exactly where they were. Before you put your new drive in the TiVo, make sure its jumper setting is the same as the old drive that came out. Okay, and now our drive goes back in just the way it was in its carrier, but I'm not going to put the cover back on yet. Instead, we're going to boot the machine up first and make sure everything's working right. Okay, now our TiVo's plugged in. It obviously powers up all by itself. Let's watch what happens here. This may take a while on the wake-up screen because it's getting used to a new drive, and you're going to have to run through basic setup just like when it was a brand new TiVo all over again. Now, your service contract is going to be fine because TiVo contracts are tied to the serial number of the motherboard, not the hard drive that's in there. Then, all you've got to do is back into your TiVo information screen and verify all the yummy capacity you've got. This whole deal is going to take you, hopefully, under an hour once you sit down with the parts and the software. And it's really satisfying thanks to the great dollar to gigabyte ratio of add-on hard drives on the market today. I'm Brian Cooley, and I hope you've really enjoyed this insider secret. Now, go upgrade your DVR.